Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron. Today I'm going to be hand painting some lovely cotton floss that you can see right here. Now I'm going to be uh, hand painting them a slightly different way. Rather than putting them on the counter, I've decided to wrap the floss around the jar like this and the the, the aim I'm going to paint, you can see it's a, it's a nice, oh, there you go. it's a nice hexagon shape. So I'm going to paint each side a different, different color. So hopefully we'll get some nice, even stripes. So I'm just winding this around. This is five meters of 100% cotton embroidery floss. And it's been soaking in soda ash for a while. Uh, and I've got some green here as well that I'm also going to to, do, to paint. I don't know if uh, I'm going to use different colours on the green and on the white. I haven't quite decided. We'll see how it... I'll paint the white goes first and then see how it goes. Two more little jars. All of these, this equipment... Uh, is all dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for any food preparation at all. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of lavender fibre reactive dye from Dharma. Put that in there. I've got my, my mask on because I don't want to breathe this in. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Give that a nice stir and get it all to dissolve. Okay. Make sure this is dry. And then I'm going to go for, again, a tiny bit of sweet pea. Okay. And again, Water. I think these colours will look really nice together. Right, I'll take my mask off now as dye is in solution. All right, and I'm just going to start painting. I think I'll start with sweet pea and just do that one. I'm going to start with the white and just dab it on there. Oops. Think. Okay, I think I'm going to have to use the same colour for both. Right, and that needs a bit more powder in as it's very, very pale. So back go, um, back goes my mask and a bit more sweet pea. Hopefully that will be a bit, a bit stronger. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. So I'm just gonna dab that onto the that one as well. Okay, and then I'm going to miss one and go onto this side. And again, and the nice thing about this glass jar is that I can see inside, so I can see if I've actually managed to get the dye all the way through. Okay, so that's sweet pea. Can you give that brush a little clean off? And go for the Lavender now. See how this looks. All right. Again, I think I'm going to need a bit more dye in there because that's very pastel. Oh, actually, 
Actually, that's quite nice. Maybe I don't need any more dye. Just gonna check each bit because I can see. Be careful on the joins now. I'm just gonna keep going round like this, making sure I've got all the floss painted. I have decided to try another colour with the green. So I'm going to go with a little bit of Wedgwood blue. You can see here. Put a tiny bit of that in there. I've got my mask on again. Let's dissolve that. Maybe want a little bit. There we go. And make sure that's nice and dry. I'm going to have a little bit of turquoise here as well. And just the tiniest amount. And okay. Now I'm gonna paint try and paint this again. There. Again I'm just going to so this is with so this is with the uh, Wedgwood blue. colour out of this. Hmm. Hmm. Might have to add a bit more. Let me try turquoise. Over there, out of the way. Oh yeah, that turquoise is much brighter. Okay, so I need to add a little bit more to wedge with blue. But that turquoise is beautiful. Okay. Right, I'm quite happy with this. We've got nice pink and purple on the top. It looks like it's all done. And again, with the green, not green, the blues on the bottom. You can still see some of the green through there, which I'm really happy with. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. Now I just need to leave this for a minimum of uh, six hours. It will more likely be several days. So I'm just gonna wrap it in some cling film just to stop it from drying out. go and in a couple of well hopefully tomorrow but uh, possibly several days later I will come back to this and uh, we'll see what we've got. It's been about two days now I've just taken this off the the jar uh, I'm just going to give it a little rinse and a tiny bit of washing up liquid just to try and get the any excess dye off but it looks like it's pretty Looks all pretty good, so I'm just gonna rinse this out and then hang out to dry. Now here's our finished dyed cotton. You can see the the pink and purple one, definite purple, definite pink patches, and I just think that looks really pretty and that will look really nice sewn up. And then we've got the blue one, which was green floss, dyed blue, and the uh, I think that was the Wedgwood blue sections there where they're quite almost silver in the light. And then you've got these really nice sort of aqua green bits, which was I'm guessing was the turquoise. You can see it, it is different from the original, but it's quite a subtle difference from the original color. And again, I think this will look really nice sewn up. 
maybe I'm thinking maybe a mermaid a mermaid silhouette might look really nice in that one and maybe some sort of witch or, or fairy silhouette with this one I think would look really good so I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, and my unusual hand painting methods uh, please click like and subscribe to my youtube channel I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday sometimes it's yarn sometimes it's embroidery floss sometimes it's ada so please remember to subscribe thank you so much for watching